guys, it's your ghost toast with the most burning burns coming at you like a banshee out of hell with another episode of the YouTube hit series, The Spook Troop. And I'm Nick. I like. And today we're exploring the basement of 466 North Haven Port, otherwise known as The Spook Troop. Has supernatural stuff happened here, Benny? I don't know, Nick. I couldn't get a permit to film in the sewers, and you know. I'm not allowed within 300 yards of public hospitals. Right. Those doctors had no reason to kick you out. Yeah. If those elderly didn't want to be confused with ghouls, they should stop moaning all the time. Yeah, yeah it's just silly. Right? Totally a waste of our valuable time. Yeah. Completely. Yeah. Right. Now let's go hunt some ghouls for some internet points. Right. Murder weapon. Most likely used to kill the previous tenant of the house. Hey! Will you wipe down? I'm trying to take a Don't make me kick you out! I'll cut that out of there. You feel kind of silly, Benny. I mean, we're practically walking in circles. Dude, chill. Night vision makes everything look seriously cool. Dude, I think I felt it. I felt the chill on my shoulder. Dude, I just put my hand on your left shoulder. What a coincidence! <laughs> Ghosts and ghouls work in mysterious ways, Nick, my friend. We may already be falling under their hypnotic spell. Well, I won't argue with science. Speaking of infallible logic, I think you know what time it is. Spirit box time! I think I just heard something. What? What is it? Dude, it said welcome to hell. It's a ghost. Yes, it's a ghost. I told you episode 57 is going to be the big one. I don't know, man. It sounds more like a goblin to me than anything else. Bro, it just asked for help. It's communicating. Well, ask it a question. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Contact with the ghost. It's so much pressure. Ghost, what do you want? The ghost thinks it's grabbing lunch. It's an unhealthy diet. I mean, he probably died of heart failure. What a bad way to go. Oh, man, dude, the first contact is going down in the history books, buddy. Dude. There's two ghosts. <gasps> They're here. Oh, we're going to be filthy stinking rich, man. Yeah, and on our honor, they're going to name YouTube to BooTube. I don't think that'd mesh well with their corporate interests. But let's keep listening. No, 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 no. Tormented spirits locked in endless conflict. Tale of all those times. Oh. We're losing it! Oh, God! Oh, come, on. Wait, come, on. come back, go, please! Oh, I love you, go, please! Come on, come on, please, please! Dude. The ghosts are performing new wave jazz!
Douche. The ghosts are predicting the weather. Dude, the ghosts are trying to sell me fast and affordable car insurance at a low monthly rate. Dude. Oh, the ghosts are making static noises. Dude, I think we've just been picking up random signals along the way. Oh. Man, I really, I really thought we had something there. I just thought after all this time, we'd finally hit it big like we always dreamed. I'm sick of just people thinking I'm nuts for hunting ghosts, or if they think I'm incapable of caring for myself just because I live under a bridge and wash myself in the local riverbeds. At least I have you, Nick. I know we're always on the same page. Benny, I think it's time that you knew. Ghosts aren't real, but ghosts from your past can be. What? What are you saying, Nick? I'm gone, Benny. Just like I've been gone for the last five years after my soy sauce overdose at your college frat party. You never forgave yourself, Benny. Never let yourself move on. You obsessed over your mistakes, let them tie you down, and snared yourself in a dark prison of your own design. You've let these critical years of your life slip on by, reducing you to a cynical husk of a man with no future or agenda, instead pervading yourself with a deep-rooted sense of fear and a powerful regret, spiraling you towards nothing but oblivion. Benny. Oh, Benny, your family's disowned you. Your friends have long since graduated, and the YouTube channel is no more. But it's not too late to forgive yourself. To save your future from turning to dust in the wind, step away from a world of fantasy. It can nourish you no more. Let reality be your caretaker. Harsh in its lessons, but blameless and boundless in its design. Do what I can't, Benny. Embrace tomorrow and start living again. again, again. It's time I make something of my life. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny Burns coming at you like a Sasquatch out of hell with episode one of Bigfoot Objectively Real.